right, fight fans, here we go. Spar Star Promotions is proud to present three three-minute rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Rejuveline Med Spa. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, George Gallegos. And now, introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing black trunks to rimmed in blue. He is training out of Fight Academy in Pasadena and CMMA in Gardena by way of Laredo, Texas. He weighed in 141 pounds. His record, three wins, four losses, with one win coming by way of stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Chris the Gator. Martinez! His opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing black trunks trimmed in white. He is training out of Foo Fighters MMA Los Angeles by way of East LA. He weighed in 140 pounds. Tonight, this is his sixth bout. One win coming by way of stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Eugene Chuko Provencio. All right, fans, once again, three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. Uh, far be it for me to ever make corrections, but I do believe it's supposed to be pronounced Fu, Efu, Fighters. <laughs> uh, just want to make sure that people know there. And you may notice over on his side in Eugene's corner is none other than Daniel Rodriguez, who is a beast within the UFC. And here we're getting it underway. Eugene in the red corner. Chris Martinez in the blue. Some good kicks mm -hmm. from Eugene right off the bat. Ooh, nice kick there by Martinez. Yep. Oh, man, and they are throwing. Yep. Oh, drops level. I like this. Going on the single leg. It gets Eugene down right away. Chris looking to pass to the opposite side of this guillotine. Gets over the knee. Having a little bit of trouble. Gets stuck into the half guard. That's a good place to be if you're on top. Yes. Oh, allows the close guard, though. Still a good place to be on top as long as you know what to do from there. Yep. Nice, nice attempt over on that sweep, though, Joe. Yeah, was that, that looked like a tripod sweep. Yes, it did. Oh, good punch as Chris lowered his level and went down back in the half guard. Nearly gets Ooh. overturned. Now lands in the mount. Wow, this one's all over the place. You got Chris looking to make some space so he can tee off. And immediately, Eugene has to turn his back. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that Eugene trains with 10th Planet, so... The trick is utilizing your jiu-jitsu in a way that works within an MMA fight. Very different scenarios that happen here. So the way that you would normally keep your neck a little bit more sustained and open sometimes means that there's less of an ability to block. So watching how he gets out right now is going to be very, very interesting. Oh, and he just falls to his back. That's going to allow Chris to maintain that top position. He gets the, his leg out of the half guard. Comes up to turtle, but then comes right back down. And now he's in, I think he's in side control. Oof. No, eating some punches, though. Good punches from yeah. Chris in this transitional position. And now ends up in the mount, throwing punches again. I got to say, Eugene is squirrely, though. He trying is. to grab an arm, trying to get out of this position. And Moving ends up with his back taken right now. There is a body triangle here, and it is fairly effective. It is hidden. And we are in a point where he has 40 seconds plus to work out of this position, John. Yeah, looking to get that arm up to the trap on the far side so he can start sinking in that choke. But Eugene doing a good job of hand fighting. He is turning. He is turning. He was almost yeah. he, fully out, but into another problem here. He's trying to buck to get him out, but it ends up right back in a compromised back position and a body triangle again, John. Yeah, I like the way Chris did this, too, just relocking that body triangle. Ooh, this and might be good. Immediately Ooh. into a rear naked oh, choke. He gets does the squeeze, have to gets the that. submission. Excellent stuff from Chris Martinez. Wow. Can I say something, John? Chris Martinez, very aggressive, very violent in every position. 
on the feet, violent. In mount, violent. Taking someone's back, where normally you're more concerned with getting the choke. Violent and still throwing strikes from there. I liked what I saw out of Chris Martinez right now, and it looks like we're going to be looking at some highlights here in just a second, but let's take a look at his work, John. Yeah, and this is a good head outside single. He, he puts uh, uh, Eugene down, and immediately right to that, uh, that cross face, and here scrambling to the back, but then ends up in mount. He was really opportunistic, very good job of just riding out whatever Eugene was doing, staying in dominant positions, and as you said, throwing punches from every place, even if he didn't have fantastic positioning to throw them from traditionally. Here, taking the back and eventually getting that rear naked choke submission. And there is something to be said that it looked like it was almost gifted to him because of the pressure he was putting on. In that transition, as I'm pretty sure Eugene thought he had a split second to maybe work out of it, he ended up going into an even worse position. Sure, less strikes, but man, was that neck exposed. Yeah, and really interesting too, that I don't usually see, especially at the amateur level, somebody that's able to throw these good strikes, yes. very aggressive, yes. strong strikes from the ground and pound positions with, when he, they were in like these transitional spaces, yes. they were sometimes not even in a half guard or the back or the side. It was kind of a combination that they're rolling through those and Chris is still right there throwing those punches. Very difficult to get any power behind him, but Chris definitely was. I'll say this right now, that young man should uh, go look up some combat jiu-jitsu and find himself into that because that's a gentleman who should be in combat jiu-jitsu. But he might be busy in MMA. Let's go to the cage for your official decision here for a second as they coordinate the last parts to say congratulations to one Chris Martinez and a uh, little housekeeping here, making sure everything is sanitized down there yeah, before we raise some hands. It was a really great fight though. It very was. fun to see. Absolutely. And Eugene looked uh, very dangerous on the feet. He while, is very dangerous. There. And he's scrambling, so. Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes, 53 seconds of round number one, referee in charge, George Gallegos stops the contest due to a tap out from a rear naked choke. Our winner in the blue corner, Chris the Gator Martinez. That's right, fight fans. Make some noise, Chris Martinez. What's up, brother? How do you feel? Oh man, I feel amazing. Um, you know, I'm trying to be humble as possible, but I knew I could get this out in the first round. Um, I just fought two weeks ago, so I was fresh. I cut weight three times in two months. I came in here a little banged up, but I still focus and I still mentally prepared, and that's the most important. I just want to give a big shout out to my coach, Savant, and my coach, Heinrich. They've been with me since day one. I couldn't have done this without them and my team at Fight Academy and my team at CMMA, Chad George, Josh Barnett, Victor Henry. I uh, appreciate all you guys. It seems like you're hungry, man. You're just doing that belt. Is that what you're looking for next? Yep, that's three in a row. Um, the guys that beat me in the past, you motherfuckers are lucky because I didn't have this shit figured out. But now I found my rhythm and my streak. I don't got a job anymore. This is all I do. So I'm ready to go. I'll fight next month. I'll fight this week, next weekend, I don't care. I'm ready to go. That's right, fight. This man's hungry right now for a, battle, for a title fight. Once again, make some noise for Chris Martinez. I don't think I've ever cheered harder for unemployment. <laughs> like that's what this man should be doing. He should be fighting. Good he for should him. be. Yeah. Uh, no, that's it. Uh, but very. This is still amateur MMA. <laughs> so uh, without a job, dude, that could be very difficult. Here, well, just some replays absolutely. again. And that there's that head to outside single, really nicely done. And uh, man, Eugene is a tough one to hold down into one position. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. hats off to Chris for. And you know, what? I've seen uh, Chris Martinez fight before. And he was a problem in the fights that I have seen him in. And as he mentioned, he was only getting better since that opportunity. Because I saw him before, the jiu-jitsu was good, but the pressure was better then. Now he's getting to the point where he's adding these extra finishes, these little touches, and that murderous row of coaches, I'm sure, are finessing and shoring him up. So if he's calling for a title shot, he's definitely merited uh, the fun side of it. And I think that it would be uh, very interesting to see where he kind of continues to progress.